Hi everyone, Don Singletary. We've got an exciting video coming up today on the program. A live trade that used multiple contracts where I made $45 in only six minutes. Another trade where I used a stop market order to create what I call a free trade. And I also have a test for you. I'm going to show you two charts and you find the optical illusion. Charts can fool you sometimes. All that and more coming up right away. If you're new to the channel, after today's video, catch up on all the basics. Look for the beginner's playlist in the text below this video. Now I'm going to show you something that's rarely talked about in trading videos. Here's a chart of the S&P 500 Micro E-Mini uh, during the midday portion of the day. And you can see it looks like a day with very little volatility. And when we take an even closer look, we can confirm that. And you know, on days of very, very low volatility like this one, there may not be so many opportunities for trading. Now, since it's less volatile, it's less risky, of course, so you can still try to build a trade in there. But generally speaking, with this low of volatility during the day, it's really difficult to get a trade. You may spend your time doing something other than trading that day. Now, here's a look at another chart. At least, that's the illusion. This is actually the same chart during the same minute of the same day, and it looks a lot more volatile. But if you look closer, you can see that, you know, in the afternoon, say between 11.30 and 1.30, this was a time of extremely low volatility. The market only traded from 32.56 to about 32.62, only six points. Now that's a two hour time period where you get six points since it's an S&P 500 at $5 a point. The six points would be a move of $30. But look at the width of the candlesticks. They're five minutes and uh, there's in each five minutes, you know, sometimes two or three point difference. Now with one contract, it's difficult to make money on a day with this low volatility. And I'm going to show you today's live trade when we have um, a fairly low volatility day, and what I'm going to do is trade two of the S&P 500 E-minis. Now, they're normally $5 a point. They still are. But I'm going to trade two, so the variation is going to be equal to $10 per point rather than the five. And this way, I hope to be able to take advantage of the fact that there's lower volatility, but still have a chance to make some money. Now, my point in showing you what uh, ostensibly were two different charts that were actually the same one, I just wanted to show you what a difference in adjusting your scale on the right-hand side can make in how you perceive what's happening on a chart. So this is the one where it looked like a lot of volatility that we've been looking at here. And now, here's the other one. Now, today's live trade is going to be the same day, July 21st, a little later in the day. Live trade. I've shorted two contracts of the S&P 500 Micro E-Mini at 32.60.50 at 3.08 p.m. Eastern Time, July 21st. Now, this is the same day we've been looking at for the entire video so far. We know the volatility is low, and that's why with a green line below the red line, usually I require they both be below the zero line to sell something. This time I made an exception because of the extremely low volatility of the day. Having the uh, two be below the zero line when you sell makes a trade less risky during high volatility days. And today is not one of those days, so I allowed an exception to my recommendation. And we've been in the trade a little less than a minute now, and we're just about even money and looking ahead.
Well, we're up about 50 or 60 bucks in this trade. One of the nice things about it so far is that I think the maximum drawdown uh, I've had during the trade so far was only one point up, which would have been $10. And now I've dropped from 60 back down to about uh, 47.50. And uh, I want to guard that profit. I don't want to give it all back, but I don't want to exit the trade too soon either. You see, this is another time. You have to make a decision during a trade, and you just don't have enough information to make a perfect decision. So what do you do? You do the best you can and uh, keep your finger on the trigger here so we don't give this nice profit back. It's only been three or four minutes, a, a pretty short time here, and uh, we're about $70 up right now. 60, 67, 65. And what I don't want to do is give all that back. Taking uh, profits too soon is a problem also because you don't let a trade accumulate the, the profits that it's capable of. And uh, we're up around 60 bucks in this trade now, but uh, I sure don't want to give it back. It's only $60, $70 up now after four or five minutes in the trade. And that's not shabby. Now I've been up about 75 or $80 in this trade and now it seems to be headed against me. I'm six minutes into the trade and uh, I decide that it's time right now to take some profit, get out of here. It doesn't seem to be progressing very fast and you can see there the uh, long shadow on the candle that went down uh, to it. Uh, so I had about a 75 or $80 profit. Now. I just got out of the trade. Uh, I entered a, a stop at 30, uh, 32.56, uh, made four and a half points, $10 a point, that's 45 bucks. Maximum drawdown, like I said, was only $10. Trade duration, six minutes, a profit, $45. And uh, I didn't quite make the full unrealized profit during the trade, but uh, you hardly ever do, really. So don't be too unhappy about that. If you can get 50% of it or more, then you're not doing too bad at all. Now stand by because I have one more live trade today. The trade I told you about at the beginning of the video where it's like I put a stop market uh, order on it and it became like a free trade to see what happens. I'll explain that in a moment. Remember, if you're a beginner, look for the beginner's playlist down below so you can catch up on the basics and watch the rest of the videos on the channel. Please subscribe to the channel, everyone, because you'll be notified when I put up new videos, usually about once a week, sometimes twice and you don't want to miss those. Also, check out my book. The proceeds from the book support the channel, and I really appreciate you taking a look at that. It doesn't cost a lot, and it makes it easy and faster to learn when you have all the information you need in one place. And uh, as always, today's charts and software I use is Tastyworks, and for more information on Tastyworks, look for the broker link in the text below. That's broker in the text below, and I'd appreciate that. Okay, now it's time for the last trade of the day. Stand by. Okay, I've got a uh, trade going here. It's a NASDAQ 100 micro e-mini, $2 a point, candlesticks, 5 minutes, MACD, normal setup. And uh, you see I've got the green line below the red line, and both below the zero line. I sold this contract at 10,807 and 50. And um, it's up about six or seven dollars right away, so no drawdown there. And the time is 1051. 
And I said this was going to be uh, uh, a case where I could use a stop market order to create uh, what some people call a free trade. Of course, it's nothing free, but uh, what I'm going to do uh, as this trade gets enough profit in it, it seems to be going well so far, is I'll go back up and put a stop market order. And the stop market order will be above the trading price, but below the trade origination price. In other words, that would be between uh, 10,807.50 and uh, 10,793 at the moment. And we're up about $34.50 on the trade. So um, I have to decide here where, if at all, I will put in a stop market order. You recall a stop market order is a market uh, order once it's triggered. So you put in, uh, I'm going to enter the order here, the uh, stop market order I'm selecting. And I'm going to put it in at 10,800. Now that's only seven and a half points, about 14 or 15 dollars below where I entered the trade at. And uh, so the worst thing can happen now is I'm going to make about 14 dollars on the trade. And I just want to let it go and see if it's one of those days when um, when I get a little bit lucky and the trade runs on down and you can make uh, 50 100 $200 if the market decides to tank. And these days, you never know for sure. So um, I'm short at 10,807.50. I have a stop market order in at 10,800. And uh, whatever happens, the worst thing can happen now is I'll make $14 on the trade. And uh, I'm hoping that the market continues to drift on down. We'll see. And there you go. I was stopped out and uh, had to settle for the $14. So we'll uh, take a look at the final stats here and see how we did. I think I should have done a little better, but it is what it is. Trade duration, four minutes. Maximum unrealized profit was $44.50, I think. And I only got $14 of it. That's not great, uh, but you don't win them all, you know. The drawdown, at least, was none, so it wasn't a trade that was stressful at all. Uh, kind of was, because I didn't want to give the money back, and I wound up giving most of it back. But that's what happens sometimes. You never have enough information to make perfect decisions. Be sure and hit the like button uh, if you want to see more videos like this one. That's what the like button lets me know. I would appreciate that. Remember to check out uh, the broker link before uh, below for Tastyworks. And also check out the book. I'd really appreciate that. Those sales uh, keep the channel rolling here with new videos all the time. This is Don Singletary. I hope every day is a payday for you. And thank you.